All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to East versus West, a new series we're doing on East versus West called the Coast Comparison. Now, on this, on this kind of segment of the East versus West podcast, we're going to be uh, comparing HHN houses from past, present, future. Well, I mean, you can't really do a future yet. <laughs> so. We're comparing the future because we know. <laughs> yeah, um, but we're gonna we're gonna start with 2019 and then move our way back, or we'll jump around. Uh, for starters, we're starting with uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. We're gonna do the coast comparison between Hollywoods and Orlando's. Uh, what each of us liked from each maze, what we didn't like from each maze, uh, and we'll talk about each at the end. But what's gonna happen is uh, I'm gonna play the video for you guys on the screen. And we're going to be watching the video as well, so there'll be kind of like a little mini screen of of the actual maze walkthrough on the screen. Uh, big shout out to TLEV and Zombie Chris. They actually are the ones who kind of inspired this whole thing. Of course, TLEV's uh, watch party, they've been doing this with mazes. And of course, Zombie Chris has been doing it on the East Coast with uh, Halloween Horror Nights Orlando stuff, so that was really cool. So big shout out to them. We decided to take both of them and just mash it into one, I guess, this time around. Yep. So double the... Uh, kind of watch party uh comparison if you will yeah so once again the only place where you could get your dose both coast um, right so you know we we got similar similar products out there but this one is gonna is gonna mix both of them out both bleh, both of them in there for you so you're getting east and west um also uh we should plug the the merch as well merch website teespring.com slash merch Slash nat, nights dot of dot whore dot, or slash merch. I, I would never. It's in the, It'll be down in the description. It's in the description. It's a long title, but there, that's where you can find all your merch uh, from uh, Mindless Horror Podcast, Nights of Horror, and of course, East versus West. Uh, we got t shirts, women's t shirts, tank tops, sweatshirts, long sleeves, stickers, all that fun stuff. I'm, I'm working on, on hats right now and beanies, so bear with me. Um, I just set up a concept for a Nights of Horror hat right now, so we'll see if I get. Uh, okay from them and we could start uh, selling hats and beanies that would be really cool but until then get your t-shirts get your long sleeves tank tops whatever kind of t-shirt you want hoodies of course stickers to put on your cars your laptops your playstations whatever you put stickers on i don't know yep. and then <laughs> I, before, I put stickers on everything before we move any further if you do like this content we've been getting a lot of love lately on the east oh, versus yeah. west we appreciate it thank you for helping us grow make sure you subscribe to both channels like this content if you do, so we know that we got to keep it coming for you. Right. We've noticed that you guys have been watching, so we've been a, a little bit more frequent lately. If if you if you've noticed, so um, Edutainment, the Knights of Horror, show us some support. We'll keep the the content coming and entertaining you guys or editing you guys. Of course, we look at the the numbers on both just to see if you guys are watching and if, if we're doing our job. So that's good. Um, without further ado, let's start over here with. Killer Clowns from Outer Space at Universal Studios Hollywood, California in you wanna, 2019. You want to count down so we press play at the same time? Going to count down. Three, two, one. All right. So this was a fun one because I remember actually uh, John Mazzari, the guy who did the music for the movie, um, really nice oh. guy. He uh, actually came to the event almost every night. And shout out to Theme Park HD. This is Yeah, Theme Park HD is doing video that you guys are seeing on your screen right now. Uh, I think it's one of the best high quality baseball kind of uh, out there. Pretty much ride POV and stuff. So. Yeah, this was cool. I mean, I had to walk through this because I love this movie. Kind of like the guy I like the, the, the facade. Yeah, the tent. The tent was cool. Yeah. That was a good scare right there. It was a really cool, detailed part of the of the ship, you know. I mean, I, I really, I mean, I have, I love this movie so much. Uh, and see, that door was actually supposed to close. Some days you'll see it close, some days you I don't know if it was hard for the actor. This fat though, I have that. Oh, mask. yeah, this is this is a classic. Yeah, popcorn. Classic part of the movie. Cotton candy cocoons. Yeah, I have all the Funkos oh. right now that they have out. This Man. That was a creepy scene right there, dude. Yeah, this this just makes me want our first announcement so bad. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Walking through these cotton candy cocoon people. I think there was like two that were real. I think he's the real one right now. Oh, nice. That's dope. Yeah, the balloon dog. I, I only got to oh. see that one time, and I was kind of disappointed in that. I think I remember that in... I, I remember this as well, the yeah. the Shadow finger puppets. puppets. 
Yeah. He does a T-Rex. I don't know if he'll get that. Yeah, he didn't get that. But he does a T-Rex, and then he'll jump out at you. Very cool scene. And then the house scene. This was a good one. He spread that. They they sprayed water at you right there. Fatso, love Fatso. He's funny. But this was really cool to see this. Well, I mean, you have Debbie in the in the ball right there, and then the clowns with the pizza scene. That was really cool how they did that and executed that. Yeah, I I enjoyed this movie a lot, man. I cannot tell you how much fun I had going through this. I was geeking out so hard. Oh yeah. I mean, even even though Orlando won, in hindsight, when I went back and like rethought about it, it it was a great great maze as far as like scenes. Yeah, and, and that's kind of what Halloween Horror Nights is. You know, you're you're living the the movie out, which is in something like that. You just want to be able to see every historic scene, scene by scene. Hopefully, in uh, in like a chrono- chronological order. Yeah, and they did actually they did a very good job executing that in this maze. Like every scene that you went through was chronologically they, they took an hour and a half or like an hour and so a movie and they brought it down to five minutes, which was really cool. And oh they my God. got all the major scenes. Like I this was probably one of my favorite scenes in the entire maze. Going through this and seeing the puppet of the of the cop. I mean that's an iconic scene. Um and I loved it so much. I think oh, out of yeah. the two there's always two that switch, and I think he was my favorite that you always seen. I remember this scene in Orlando as well. Is it yeah. is it just me or like knowing the current state of things and watching everybody congested in the conga line kind of gives you anxiety a little bit? Just a little bit. <laughs> That's why it's I'm curious like, to see how they're gonna do an HHN this year. Like, I know. I, I'm just watching it. I'm like, they're too close together. <laughs> yeah. But then I remember that. This is this is something of the past. I love this oh, scene so much too. That looks dope. They were all just mannequins, but they all look so cool. Shorty. And then we had yeah, Shorty, and then we, we actually had a real short. There's supposed to be a clown that pops up. There he is. There's Rudy. Did they have the the knock your block off scene? No, I was a little disappointed in that. Another door. I, I would always quote this scene every time I went through. Any you can ask anyone we went with. Oh, another door. It was always oh. such a fun time. For Orlando, Shorty was was usually chilling at the at the entrance. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> and they had the the ice cream truck out there too because they had that. Yeah. Little... It was like a photo op. It was usually a He'd... clown right there. They're probably doing a casting. Yeah, he He'd was... be out there with his gloves like boxing. He should pop out right now. They, we had one uh, person actually. Play Shorty this year, which was really cool. There's one right there. I don't know if he's going to catch him again. He probably didn't. There's our Clownzilla. That was your Clownzilla? That was our Clownzilla. I was oh, very disappointed man. in it. But, however, it was cool to kind of still see Clownzilla. But that was a cool scene at the end, too. That's an iconic scene from the film as well. But, yeah, that was our killer clowns from outer space right there, man. And Believe it or not, that maze, every night we went, was the most packed maze. Really? Yeah. Like, that was the, like, probably rated number one or two at the event last year. I think it was either that or us. Like, those were the two always super packed. But, yeah, man, that was that was HHN Hollywood. And, uh, you know, I mean, I, I really enjoyed that. That was probably my favorite maze last year. It's probably been my favorite maze. It's probably up there in my top three favorite mazes of all time. Um, Wait, let me... But I, I loved Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Uh, and I really... Really wish they would have brought it back this year for a kind of a, a redo, for uh, kind of bringing some stuff from Orlando and kind of revamp it and all. But yeah. we'll see. Maybe one day. This is this is one of those that um, I know for sure would come back if there was a sequel that was relevant. Right. It's kind of like um, uh, when they first were were talking about Trick or Treat coming to the event and uh, people like. John Murdy and Mike Aiello were saying, well, you know, we'll consider it once a sequel comes out for it because it needs to be relevant again. And then the yeah. fans kind of got it to come anyway, which yeah. I think is what happened with Killer Clowns. But for another one to come, I think it's got to be a sequel uh, that comes out for it. But yeah. um, just kind of going over the, your yours, the differences are pretty damn huge. Yeah, big time. Yeah. We're going to uh, see that right now with, of course... The Orlando walkthrough, I mean, uh, 
definitely something we're going to talk about after we watch both videos of what we liked and what we didn't like. But yeah, there's a lot of big differences. That's why when I watch your guys is like you said, it was more of a scenic one compared to, you know, an actual walkthrough, which I thought was still really cool. But we're going to yeah. check out the um, the Orlando one now. Another okay, very good down. talented maze. I'm going to count it down. Three, two, one. All right. Theme Park HD. I'm surprised. Now, you guys have a very big problem over there with not letting you film in the mazes. I'm surprised a lot of these people get away with it. Uh, so when one year part of the media tour, you can film in the maze. You're not allowed to release it during the event. So I have actual film inside of the the houses, but you're not allowed you to release. Walk with a staff member too. Yeah. Oh, so see, typically, that, that's yeah, that's dope. I remember this. But, yeah, Gordy, knock your block off. But this guy released it on September 7, 2019, so the event was still going on. Hmm. It could... Maybe. Typically, they'll allow you to to release it with without spoiling the whole entire thing. There's the the puppets. Yeah. This guy had a bad, I think, walkthrough, because I think there was some short... Oh, yep. There's that... That one's slim. I have to look up the pop. <laughs> and I know Spikey is actually yeah. supposed to be in right oh, there. Oh, now, now it's all coming back to me. And those guys would move uh, on certain walkthroughs. There, there would be somebody puppeteering them. That's cool. Oh, That's that a, was that, a little There you go. Different. Yeah. And the, the thing is, like, sometimes in Orlando, like, if, if you miss the jump scare, you miss seeing that, that, that like, uh, historic scene of the... Aw, the... dude. I like that fucking shorty one a lot better than what we had. What the hell were they spraying you guys with there? Water? Uh, I think it was more like a... I don't remember there being, like, a water effect in this one. Oh, man, your guys' fun house was so much funner than... Look at that shorty. Yeah, they're shorty. Yeah, he, he was featured a lot in, in the Orlando house. Rudy. Was yeah, this a lot of, like, uh, either this is a fake one or not? It looks like there was a lot of dummies in there and some yeah. actors. Oh, man, this is beautiful. I love this. Look at there's And there's pushable buttons, too. Yeah, like, they have... Oh, they had the, the freaking girlfriends. Come on. That's definitely something that Orlando... Uh, incorporates a lot which is like the interactive buttons yeah. um the saw maze had a ton of interactive buttons that like got me like it would it would like blow air at you or a saw would turn on out of out of oh. nowhere and there's clownzilla that's our beautiful. clownzilla clownzilla was impressive that was beautiful look at that that's yep. terrifying too dude and i remember when we did east versus west before the event this is one of the scenes that i said i wanted to walk under his legs yeah and it, it was exactly that, because Mike Aiello is like my best friend, so he, he basically does what He's I said. He's my best friend, yeah. <laughs> you sat next to him one time, and <laughs> you guys are best friends immediately. Yeah, he, he remembers. It's like me. how I've seen Jason Blum twice, you know, and me yeah. and him have dinner all the time. Yep. We're on a first name basis. Yeah, I know. Hey, Jay, come here. Yeah. Yeah, I call him M for short, What's you up, know? M? M, get over here. <laughs> yeah. Now, that's cool. It's like a cotton candy hallway. Yeah. Yeah, that's something that's definitely not going to exist. All those little, like, hanging strings yeah. this year, they, it's not possible. Yeah. And they're a really good, like, uh, kind of, like, sensory effect. Okay. Messing with, like, your senses in the dark. Yeah. The, the strobe lights are this, messing with your guys' cotton candy room is really cool, too. The cotton candy room. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, the Dickies playing in the background. That was cool. Oh, man. I'm, I want to be there again. I think the only difference is as far as music go for both. Oh, look at the Terenzi brothers were there, yep. man. And that was Orlando. So I think the difference, big difference between uh, our maze and your maze is like they kind of did stuff out of order, but they, they did mention and, and show some of the iconic scenes. And with our maze, they used a lot of John Mazzari's score throughout the maze rather than in your maze. They used a lot of like funny sound effects and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, you guys tend to have more of like the the music based mazes so if there's like a true score for yeah. a house or something like that you guys tend to always get it while we kind of improvise um but from i guess to start off from the the first comparison um looking over at your maze 
there there seemed to be m- more jump scares, at, at least yeah. like ones that were meant to scare you, not ones that were meant for you to observe. I think the Orlando jump scares were more meant for observation purpose. Like, hey, check this out. We're about to relive a scene that you could observe. Not that's not really gonna scare you. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, uh, they, that's what they're famous for doing for jumping out of walls, yeah. jumping, you know, hiding around corners or something that you wouldn't expect. Yeah, you guys um, had those walls that were like sheets almost. They, yeah, they were like faux walls. Yeah, uh, which those are obviously gonna get people off off a. Uh, catch people off guard because they think that it's an actual wall for us yeah. it wasn't it wasn't necessarily like that even your clownzilla our clownzilla once again was more scenic you look at him and you're impressed and you walk under him yours was like a, a puppeteered head that they pop at you yeah so it was meant yeah. more for scaring you um i think as far as the way your guys's maze goes you know scenic wise it is just beautiful i mean they nail a lot of the iconic scenes um there's a lot of funny like moments into it there's a lot of stuff that they threw in your guys' maze that we didn't even get a, a light of day to see. Uh, the Terenzi brothers were in it. That's I think that was the only um, actual character besides the clowns, like human character that was in the maze featured at least that that I saw. You know, they didn't have Mike, they didn't have Debbie, they didn't have the officers. Oh, the one officer, of course, that was getting puppeteered. But um, I felt like they kind of cheated you out of the puppeteer scene a little bit. Um, yeah. I mean, you saw how ours was. It was a full walkthrough in the station, which I thought was cool. Yeah, yeah. Ours was really short, but I do remember the cop being more active, and that's that's what I was kind of talking about because we he basically skimmed over it. Yeah. Uh, if you missed the like jump scare or like the hey check this out, yeah, they reset and you catch the reset and completely pass over it. But when I went through it. He actually was like active and like you saw him. But once yeah. again, you're you're right. Yours yours was more of like. I'm walking through that damn scene, so you you get more time with it. Ours was yeah. hit a yours away. It was just kind of in a closet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ours was like a quick like you turn and it's done if you didn't catch it. Yeah. No, but that was cool. I really liked. Um, of course, Clownzilla. I think stole steals the entire show with that maze. I mean, and walking through the funhouse was really cool. They really did a good job on that. Um, but no, it was overall. I think. Uh, I think scenic wise, um, and 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 you know moments to look at wise, Orlando wins it. Uh, but if we're going in like chronological order of the film, it'd probably go to uh, Hollywood, Hollyweed. But yeah. I think overall, I, I do like uh, Orlando's a little bit more. That's just my opinion, though. I I think for a purist like yourself of the movie, Orlando is great because I enjoyed it from that scenic aspect. But overall. It, it didn't do that well with fans in Orlando, as opposed to yours. Uh, I haven't heard that many negative reviews. Orlando and in Orlando, um, when I when I went to to the Killer Clowns maze, I think the wait said thirty minutes, but I got like to the front of the line like in five. Wow. Yeah, it was yeah. like almost like a straight walk on. So. Well, not to mention our facade was beautiful. I mean, we had the tent. And it recreated the whole iconic scene with the old man uh, investigating, looking for his dog and stuff. They had the the Killer Clowns from Outer Space theme song played by the Dickies out there. And then every, like, five or ten minutes or so, the old man would come out and recreate that entire scene of him grabbing the wire, looking for his dog. And it was so cool to see that. That's kind of how, like, the whole maze started was actually in the facade area of, yeah. of that scene being played out. And then you walk into the to the actual tent and you're, you're in the beginning of the movie and you just start going – through the movie little by little as you continue to the end, which I thought was really cool. So that was, I bet I think that was the only difference with ours. Like I said, it really just did the chronological order of the film to the yeah. entire movie. Our, ours kind of also moves really fast. Yeah. You, you see shorty, you see the puppeteering or you see the, the hand puppets, you see the puppeteering, you see the, the cotton candy yours. You kind of like get a chance to absorb it. Yeah, you had like at least like a good five to fifteen seconds in each room. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Ours was like, boom, there it is. Make a left. Boom, yeah. there it is. Make a right. Boom, there it is. Make a left. It was. Right. Yeah. Now being able to watch them both side by side like instantly, I I see the differences. It's huge because while we were watching yours, since yours was first, nothing was like. I, it, it wasn't one of those things where like the houses were so similar that I was like, oh, I remember that. Oh, I remember that. No, the whole entire thing was like, oh, this is really different. 
And then right. I started watching ours, and I was like, oh, I remember this whole entire thing. <laughs> so it looks like we have ourselves a new Smash series coming out on East versus West now, huh? Yep. Hi, hey, like, I like this. Yeah, we had a lot of fun doing this. So thank you, everyone, for checking out um, the Coast Comparison. Uh, we really enjoyed making these. Uh, subscribe to Eddie Tamit. Buy his, do you have a merch shop up? I do. Um, I don't know what the link is, but uh, I'll send it to you. It's probably like – it's a Teespring. Um, and I know it's Eddie Tamit, but I don't well, know if, if it on, has if like this a, is on your channel, then it's probably be in the description. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's like highly hyphenated or or whatnot like yours is. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but yeah, check out Eddie Tamit. Uh, subscribe to his channel. Buy his merch. Also, uh, of course, subscribe to Knights of Horror. Check out the merch shop here on Knights of Horror. And, uh, of course, uh, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And uh, don't forget to ask yourselves, have you guys been Eddie Tamed? <laughs> Deuces. <laughs>